though the satanic wicked Jesuits over in Spain have actually admitted to decades of sexual abuse. I'm going to read to you from this article from ABC News. It says, the first comprehensive internal inquiry on sex abuse allegations by a religious order in Spain has identified 81 children and 31 adult victims of 96 Jesuits since the late 1920s, a much higher number than the cases that had so far been publicly known. Associations, associations of victims are welcoming the disclosure, but they see it as falling short since the names of the perpetrators or those who covered up the abuses weren't disclosed. They also want the Jesuits, inqu the Jesuits inquir inquiry to lead to proper criminal cases against a few abusers that are still alive and a detailed plan to compensate their victims. Quote, the timid is a timid measure that goes in the right direction. But it's, it, it falls too short. Uh, Mikhail, Mikhail uh, Hurtado, Hurt, I'll say it that way, a spokesperson for the Stolen Childhood Association, told the Associated Press on Friday. Totally disgusting. Again, the wicked Jesuits, you know, the Society of Jesus. No, there's the Society of the Antichrist. That's what the Jesuits are. They're not the Society of Jesus. They're, they're the Society of the Antichrist, the false Jesus of Roman Catholicism. But they keep covering this this wicked pedophilia up. They always do this. Roman Catholicism is, they're getting it from the pagan Romans, the pagan Greeks, because in pagan Roman and Greek society, pedophilia was just part of, part of their way of life. That's where the pagan Roman Catholics and the pagan Jesuits get their wickedness from, their pedophilia. ABC News, uh, continuing, the Jesuits, uh, is how, or sorry, Jesuits is how members of the Society of Jesus, a Roman Catholic religious order formed in 1540 by Ignatius Loyola, are commonly known. According to his website, the order runs 68 schools with some 75,000 students in Spain, as well as half a dozen universities and high school cent or high education centers. The Society of Jesus in Spain, in its report published Thursday, says or that the uh, internal probe confirmed that 96 members have been accused of sex abuses since 1927, the year of the first recorded case. For 65 of the Jesuits, the accusations involved underage. Uh, victims. The report nevertheless highlighted the abuse or the accused that the accused Jesuits make up just over 1% of the 8,782 members admitted in the order during the past 93 years. Or, yeah, 93 years. The disclosure by the Spanish Jesuit comes as Pope Francis, the church's first Jesuit pope, has tried to sanitize the church around the globe to, to the problem of clergy abuse and pass laws to hold the hierarchy accountable for covering it up. Uh, how about just don't cover it up? Because you have the previous pope who tried to cover up this wicked sex abuse. It's ridiculous. Roman Catholic, if this is the Church of Jesus Christ, if this is the Church Jesus Christ founded, if the Jesuits are the Society of Jesus, why does this, this problem keep happening? You know, the church in the, you know, Pauline epistles, the New Testament church, didn't have this problem. Where are they getting it from? They're getting it from pagan Roman religion, from pagan Greek religion. I said before, Roman Catholicism is just pagan Greek Roman religion repackaged. That's where they get all this perversion from. And the Jesuits are following their, the forceps of their pagan Greek and Roman forerunners. But what does the Word of God say? I'll show you what the Word of God says. Matthew chapter 18, verse 6. But whoso shall offend one of these little ones which believe in me, it were better for him that a millstone were hanged about his neck, and that he were drowned in the depths of the sea. That's what Jesus Christ says about people who simply just offend a little one. Matthew chapter 18, verse 14. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. You see, God, God doesn't take kindly to child abusers. God does not take kindly to these Jesuits who abuse children. And the Jesuits, they were founded by basically Ignatius Leola, they mentioned that in the article, but the guy was a Satanist, the guy had his own self-righteousness, the guy was wicked. The Jesuit order uh, is, I'd say, probably one of the most satanic cults in the world, I'd, I'd have to say that. And Pope Francis obviously is a Jesuit, but then you have the Black Pope and the White Pope, and obviously the White Pope is in the midst of the Black Pope. There's a whole system there, the Jesuit white power structure, the Jesuit, you know, control of the nations. All goes back to Revelation 17 and 18, which talks about, you know, Mystery Babylon ruling over the kings of the earth. And the Jesuits are working around the clock, and basically the Jesuits are, you know, making the name of Christianity, because they're, they're seen as Christians. The Roman Catholics are seen as Christians. They're making it seem like Christians, because in Christians we get blamed for what these wicked Jesuits do. So the Jesuits are doing, also doing a lot of damage to the body of Christ as well. 
by this wickedness and this perversion. But just this kind of perversion comes out of the Roman Catholic Church constantly, comes out of the Jesuit order constantly. So again, they're not the Society of Jesus, they're the Society of the Antichrist. That's what the Jesuits are. And if you read the book, The Two Babylons, by Alexander Hislop, and the Catholics will say, well, that, that book has been debunked. No, it hasn't. Just, how would you just read the book instead of, you know, because Catholics, they always answer the matter before they hear it. Read the book before you, don't answer the matter before you hear it. Read the book. But the Jesuits were modeled after, I mean, Hitler even modeled his SS after the Jesuits, but the Jesuits were modeled after paganism. Their symbol comes from paganism. Egyptian paganism, Greek paganism, Roman paganism. And again, that's where you're getting all this perversion from, from the Greek Roman pagans. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. Don't be deceived by the Satanic Jesuit order. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.